During the waning years of the Republic, many systems were fed up and, as a result, removed their affiliation with the Senate and the Republic, in turn creating their own government and naming it the Separatist Alliance or the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Their movement was, of course, led by a new Sith Lord that had joined ranks with a secret Sith called Darth Sidious. This way Sidious could control both sides into getting what he ultimately wanted, the decimation of the Republic and the destruction of the Jedi Order. During this era, many Jedi were disillusioned by the war. Many of them had never experienced such destruction and in witnessing this, the Jedi were forced to come to grips that their teachings and ways were not all that pure as they had originally thought. It is in fact one of the major reasons why Anakin was ultimately lied to by the Jedi several times. These secrets is what led Anakin to distrust the Jedi, making him a perfect candidate for Palpatine to gain a new and stronger dark side apprentice. Now, because of this chaos that existed within the Jedi Order during the Clone Wars, many Jedi left the Order because of the frustration that they gained because of the leadership. To my knowledge, there were seven Jedi that defected from the Order and sided with the Separatists if we combine both Legends and Canon material. Starting off with Canon, the first one we have to mention is of course Count Dooku. Although he was once a Jedi Master, Dooku left the Jedi Order and and the Galactic Republic after growing disillusioned with the corruption in the government. He conspired with Darth Sidious and became his apprentice, ultimately renamed as Darth Tyrannus. Next is the former Jedi Padawan Asajj Ventress. She ultimately could not handle the death of her master Kai Narek and in doing so embraced the dark side of the Force, killing without mercy. This attracted the attention of Count Dooku, who made her the ultimate Sith assassin. Moving on, this Jedi was a prominent figure in the Order. Quinlan Vos was ready to serve the Council to such a degree that doing so ultimately led him to the dark side of the Force. The Jedi Council instructed Vos on a dangerous mission. The person he would have to assassinate was none other than the leader of the Separatists, Darth Tyrannus. However, he failed in doing so and ultimately fell to the trap of Dooku and then falling to the dark side. Later, he of course repented and joined the Order once again. Jedi Master Pong Krell, who was also a Republic general, realized that the Republic would eventually succumb to the Separatist agenda, and basically came to a realization. He sabotaged the 501st Legion on the planet Umbara with the hopes that he could prove his loyalty to the Confederacy and become the apprentice of Count Dooku since he saw no future for himself in the Republic. Moving into Legends material, we start off with Jedi Knight Tall Score. Taking the rank of general within the Grand Army of the Republic during the Clone Wars, Score was seduced to the dark side of the Force early in the conflict and he joined the Confederacy of Independent Systems, becoming one of Count Dooku's dark acolytes. Next, we have the female Zabrak Jedi Knight, Kadrian Say. She served the Jedi Order before she fell to the dark side and joined the Confederacy of Independent Systems, becoming one of Count Dooku's dark acolytes during the Clone Wars. And finally, we come to Jedi Master Sora Bulk. He in fact, together with Windu, refined the Vapad form. He pursued his studies of the dark side in secret until Count Dooku captured him during the earliest days of the Clone Wars and turned him fully to the dark side of the Force. He then became the commander of the Dark Acolytes, a collection of other Jedi who had fallen to the dark side and joined the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Now, although many of you might want me to mention Barriss Offi as well, it is worthy to note that while she did in fact defect from the Order for the same reasons our other Jedi did, she never really joined the Separatists and therefore she is not on this list. However, However, if I have missed any, please feel free to mention that Jedi down below in the comments. Alright Star Wars fans, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day my friends and in closing, don't forget, may the Force be with you always.